Well, once again, I'm talking about a book that is available through the ministry of the Christian Research Institute. It is titled 10 Books That Screwed Up the World and Five Others That Didn't Help. The book written by Dr. Benjamin Weicker. You can check it out on the web at equip.org. One of those books is titled The Future of an Illusion. It was written back in 19. 19- 27, but the shock waves from this book continue on into the present. The book written by, well, you'll recognize the name immediately, Sigmund Freud. He is the oft venerated one, and he was by his own self designation a godless Jew and perhaps worse than being godless, he was a faithful follower of Charles Darwin. His belief that man was merely a sophisticated animal inevitably led him to postulate that mental disorders were, well, they were the vestiges of behavior that had been appropriate in earlier stages of evolution. You start off with that premise, you're in a lot of trouble. But there's more. In Freud's delusionary world, all religion was ultimately an illusion. This Freudian slip, if I may put it that way, is rooted in the delusion of a cosmic father conjured up to protect us from the consequences of our own inadequacies. Well, such illusions spawned the delusion of religion, if you're listening to Sigmund Freud, but the real delusion is found in Freud's fertile imagination. Godless Freudian misapprehensions, well, they begin with the assumption that the mother-child attachment arouses sexual desires, that intuitively motivate children to see fathers as sexual rivals. Now, if that's not bad enough, you have children having therefore this, this inbred desire to kill their fathers, all the while instinctively having this conflict of interest because they also worship them as protectors. And this kind of cranial conflict breeds guilt in concert with the attendant impulse by which fathers are mentally deified. I mean, this is a quagmire that's hard to uh, wrap your mind around, but people are studying this in universities all over the world. But Benjamin Weicker makes clear in 10 books that screwed up the world that Freud's rooting of religion in incest and patricide was not only an attack on religion in general, but really the essence of it was an attack on the historic Judeo-Christian faith. And in demented fashion, therefore, he would go as far as to recast. I mean, this is absolutely unbelievable, but I'm telling you it's true. He would recast the Eucharist as a recapitulation of patricidal cannibalism that was fueled by incestuous instinct. Sad to say, I studied some of this while I was in university. But in light of the latent incest and patricide hiding within the human psyche, the father of modern psychology had a suggestion. He said, give up on the illusion of religion, embrace scientific paradigms in place of religion, become irreligious in the truest sense of the word, and admit man's impotence in the face of an impersonal universe. That's his solution. Well, after two world wars and the horrors of Mao and Stalin, one wonders what it would take uh, to disabuse the followers of the Freudian fairy tale to recognize that this is a make-believe world in which nothing creates everything. Life comes from non-life, and the life that comes from non-life produces ethics. Freud had many missteps, but let me focus on just one as I conclude, and that was his blind devotion to Darwinian evolution. An evolutionary theory that Dr. David Berlinski rightly satirized He satirized it as the last of the great 19th century mystery religions, which, 
has followed uh, Marxism into the nether regions. And Berlinski said, I'm quite sure that Freud, Marx, and Darwin are commiserating with one another in the dark dungeon where discarded gods gather. We don't want to follow in their train because ultimately all of this is delusion of the highest order. If you want true satisfaction, if you want to find the end for which you were created, you will not find it in godless atheism, nor in the Darwinian model, nor in Freud's, well, in his fertile imagination. Ultimately, you will find it in the authenticity of a biblical worldview, a worldview that I write about in many of my books, including Has God Spoken? The book, again, that uh, we're featuring uh, at the Christian Research Institute is one of the many resources that you can depend on when you go to equip.org. Ten books that screwed up the world and five others that didn't help. Benjamin Weicker.